Alright, this is Vegeta8259 again, and this is my review of the 1 to 100 scale Garadoga. And this is a resin model kit made by B Club. And I'm not sure the exact release date, but I do know it was released in the late 90s. But, uh, anyway, this is a resin model kit. And being a resin kit, it is molded completely in tan colored resin, so painting is required for this kit. Alright, so, uh, my Garadoga is actually a recast that I bought from E2046. The original B Club uh, kit is going to have box art that looks something like this. So, that'll be uh, what you want to look out for if you're wanting the original. But, uh, as you can see, I've painted this kit. And um, it's meant to be a full action, uh, i.e. poseable kit. And uh, I installed all the joints, and they were pretty much all aftermarket joints. I didn't use any of the resin joints that came with the kit because those were complete crap. And uh, the original B-Club version would have come with polycaps, but mine came with resin copies of the polycaps, so I didn't use those at all. And I think the joints came out okay. They came out better than they did on my Nightingale, but... Uh, I think they could have been better. So anyway, um, the stuff you do get with this kit is the Garadoga, obviously. You get two machine guns. You get this machine gun right here, and then you get another machine gun. And the cool thing about this kit is that uh, you actually have the parts to make uh, either the standard version or the Resin Snyder uh, Custom, which is the blue Garadoga. And this is the machine gun that uh, Resin Snyder uses. And you get a little command antenna. But obviously I opted for the standard green version. Now you are going to get a uh, beam tomahawk. Unfortunately it has no blades to it whatsoever. Um, the Nightingale I had had the same problem. It came with a beam sword. Didn't have any blades for it though. So you've got a handle but you got no beams. <clears throat> If you want to scratch build some beams, then uh, you certainly can do that, but I was just kind of too lazy. You also get a shield, and it comes with four Sturm Fausts that fit on the bottom of the shield like so. And uh, I think that's pretty much it for all the stuff that it comes with. Do a quick turnaround, and I guess we'll start with articulation. Alright, the head is on a ball joint, but just because of the shape of the head here, you're not really going to get too much mobility out of it, unfortunately. You're going to get a little bit of up and down movement, and just hardly any side to side at all, and just a little bit of rotation like so. I did uh, put in that little clear jewel for the mono eye. And you can just barely see it in there if the light catches it properly, but it's in there. Um, originally, according to the instruction manual, each of these thrusters were... Oh, no, never mind. Uh, these thrusters are just fixed pose. They don't move. But these thrusters on the front of the shoulders out here are supposed to be on ball joints, but I just glued those in place because, honestly, I don't really care if they have movement or not. Uh, the shoulders are on ball joints, uh, so they can go 360. This one's not really going to have much back and forth movement because the shoulder armor is so close to the body, but uh, this one will have some back and forth there. The shoulder armor on this side is on a ball joint as well. Actually, let me just take this arm off. It'll be a little bit easier to do it this way. So this shoulder armor is on a ball joint so it can rotate and wiggle. There's a rotation below the... Uh, shoulder joint so like there's a hinge so the arm can go out that far the elbows can bend about 90 degrees but that's about it and the hands are actually fixed pose they don't move I've installed some little Revoltec ball joints in there and you get five different hands you get two open palms two closed fists and then a tr trigger finger just for the right hand. Now, unfortunately, there's no waist articulation at all. 
there is like a big metal peg that I put in uh, that he could rotate on, but in fact I'll show you why he can't. Uh, just due to the design of the back skirt, uh, backpack's kind of covering it up, but he's just not going to rotate. Plus, he's got these energy cables running from the front skirt all the way to uh, the back of the torso. Those are going to prevent him from rotating as well. The side skirts are on a small little joint that can go up and down and rotate slightly. The front skirts also up and down slightly, rotate slightly. The uh, back skirt doesn't move. The hips I put on ball joints and they can go forward and back a little bit. Uh, the ball joints are actually really tight, but uh, they, do, they do have uh, forward and back movement. Um, there's rotation below the hip as well, so can rotate a little bit there. And luckily, I was able to fix the uh, knee issue. Uh, I said in my work in progress, I had some issues with the knees being just way too loose. And I tried uh, putting some super glue in those knee joints, and it just hardly did anything at all. And then I went in and put some epoxy uh, glue inside the knee joints. And I know that epoxy doesn't stick to polycaps, and I had two polycaps in there, so I tried that as a last-ditch effort, and it actually worked. So the knees are actually very nice and stiff now, and they actually move pretty smoothly as well. And as you can see, they can bend about 90 degrees. And onto the feet, the ankles are on a double ball joint, so they can go forward and back side to side a little bit and rotate a little bit as well. Onto the uh, accessories you get with the kit. Like I said, you get uh, one machine gun here. It's actually got a pretty nice design. Uh, it's got a handle on the bottom which can swing to either direction. And it's got a removable ammo clip here on this side. And I forgot to mention there are two extra ammo clips one in each side skirt. Now if you were to do the Resin Snyder version, or if you just want to give this machine gun to the Green Garadoga, you could use this one. Uh, it's got an ammo clip on here, but it's not removable. It's molded right into the gun. But uh, I actually like the way this one looks better. I think it looks uh, a bit nicer. And then, like I said, you get a beam tomahawk with no blades. And there is a little slot on the back skirt that you can plug in the beam tomahawk into. And for the shield, it's going to have uh, two joints that you'll have to put in there, which will let it uh, bend in half a little bit. And then you've got these four stern falls back here. Uh, you can take them out, but uh, I figured I'd never actually have Gyarados using them, so I just glued them in place here. And it's got a peg on there, and all I did for the arm was just put in a small little polycap there, and it just pegs in nicely, like so. Now, before I finish up this review, I do want to do a couple of size comparisons. Here is the Garadoga next to the RX-78. As you can see, the Garadoga is quite a bit taller than your average sized mobile suit. I think the Garadoga is 20 meters with uh, 18 meters being the standard. And, of course, the review wouldn't be complete unless I compared Garadoga to his commander, the Sazabi. As you can see, Sazabi is quite a bit taller. Uh, between you and me, I think this core work Sazabi might be a little bit bigger than it's supposed to be. But, um,. Anyway, there he is. As you can see, RX-78 is smaller than all of them. Alright, so I guess that about does it for my review of the 1 to 100 scale B-Club Garadoga. Um, overall, I think this is a pretty good kit. Um, in the looks department, I think it looks fantastic. Um, it's a very well sculpted kit. I think B-Club did a good job with the proportions and uh, the details are nice and I think it's just a really good looking kit. I mean, if Bandai were to make a Master Grade Garadoga, this is exactly how I imagine it would look. Um, 
I think that the uh, joints for this kit were designed better than the joints for the 1 to 144 scale Nightingale I did uh, a couple months ago and I have to give uh, Gyaradoga props for that however the joints are not perfect um, I don't really recommend this kit for somebody that's uh, starting out with resin or uh, doesn't have very much modeling experience because these joints can just be really frustrating at times and uh, unless you really have a lot of time and energy and well frankly patience um, you probably might want to hold off on tackling uh, one of these full action resin kits unless you plan to just glue the whole thing together and make it fixed pose which is what I consider doing but uh, overall I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out my only real regret with this kit is that uh, I accidentally covered up the 8259. I didn't account for the uh, thrusters being there, so you can't really see it. Oh well, at least it's still on the shield. Anyway, I guess that about does it for this review, and I will see you guys next time.